Kochinska and you are watching Fabric Class Inspirations. In today's video I would like to show you some great examples of smocked fabrics and here you can find my collection which is entirely done uh, with smocked fabrics and you can find your three dimensional structures, very unique fabrics and all of these garments were made by hand stitching. So it was a super time consuming collection but I think it was so worth the time because amazing patterns came out uh, while we were creating this collection. Before I show you the whole collection, let me take you quickly on a creative journey and present you my mood board. So here you can find all the inspirations that came into my mind while I was designing this collection. So it's basically my brain put up on the wall and it's a quite colorful and a little bit messy brain as you can see. And whenever we design a collection we always start with some rough sketches. So we have a lot of sketches and the main inspiration in this collection were uh, geometrical shapes and prints and drawings. So firstly we were going through books, uh, films, uh, prints, photos and we are collecting them and try to get creative. So before you start uh, designing a collection you should always do as many samples as you can because smoking patterns look totally different in various fabrics. For example, this arrow pattern looks totally different in a letter and it looks totally different in chiffon and as well in wool. So once we have stitched all of these fabric samples, we have done more sketches and I usually sketch by hand and then I take my sketches to the computer and I just mix them out a little bit and I see what's going to happen, would I like it or not. And all the things which we like, in the very end we put it up onto this ball and we brainstorm. And this is a super time consuming process to be honest, like making a boot board, but to be honest it's my favorite part because it's the most creative one. So once we were done with this, we finally started doing the collection and this is the outcome. So here you can find quite a lot of uh, garments from a smoking collection. For example, you can find here pretty cool jumper, which has a, a lozenge pattern. So lozenge is a smoking pattern and I also embellished uh, my jumper with some metal embellishments and I'm wearing it with a long white shirt and I think it's looking pretty cool. So you can wear it for daily wear, you can go to work. So here is a dress, which I really like, to be honest, and it's entirely made out of cashmere. So I was smoking red cashmere and I was creating an arrow pattern, which you can see here. And I was mixing it with a leaf pattern. And the outcome is very three-dimensional, unique and structured. And this dress was uh, worn a lot of times by celebrities because it's looking amazing on a catwalk. So it's a dress which you can wear for big night outs. Then I have a dress, oh, that's my favorite one. I always wear heavy black boots and it's made out of silver lame. And can you recognize this pattern? It's a honeycomb pattern. So I smocked together tiny pleats and the outcome is pretty cool because it is three dimensional, but still you can wear it daily. And it's mixed with a black leather and silver embellishment. So it's cool for a concert, for example, or for a date, why not? Oh, this one, this one I like. This is a vest which was made of black leather and it's totally shiny, so it's super, super cool. And it's made of a black arrow pattern and in the front we were doing a small arrow pattern. So the grid size was three centimeters to so three centimeters. And then on the back side, we decided to do a big arrow pattern. So small one, big one, and we added some embellishments on the leather belt and it's super, super cool. So because my collection was full of super cool and edgy clothes with lots of leather, I thought I need something more feminine and soft. So I made a skirt, actually more skirts, uh, which are a bit more feminine. They are soft and the structure, which is a diamond pattern, uh, gives the skirt a little bit of edginess, but it's still something you can wear normal to work for a date. And I think it's looking amazing with a t-shirt or as well with a blazer. And we also made the same skirt in another color, but here we changed the pattern. And this is a basket pattern. It's a little bit more 3D, so it's a little bit more popping out from the skirt, but I think it's still looking amazing with, for example, t-shirts or even with a sweatshirt. 
So you can pair this mini skirt with, for example, a leather jacket. So when I was doing this collection, I really wanted to do a leather jacket, but, but I didn't want it to be totally boring. So I wanted to add some twist to it, and I wanted it to be a little bit more edgy. So I decided that I will add a flower pattern over here. And I know what you're thinking right now, that you can't see any flowers, but there are some because this fabric is double-sided. So on one side we have flowers which are inside and you can't see them right now. And on this side we have a geometrical core super pattern. And I just added it on one side and I think it's looking super cool and edgy and you can wear it with a t-shirt for example, or with our mini skirts or just with pair it with jeans and you're gonna look amazing. I also have some small simple clothes over here. So here is a vest which you can also wear actually as a dress. And we just wanted to do something totally simple and delicate, so we thought we're gonna do lozenga patterns. So lozenga is one of our smoking patterns which we have learned today. And it's, uh, it's a little bit more soft and I think it's looking amazing with a t-shirt or just with some trousers. So here I have one more vest which you can also wear as a dress. And we made a flower pocket, so it's popping out from the fabric and it's totally three-dimensional and structured and it's made out of cashmere and dark wool. And uh, yeah, I simply love it. I actually wear it the whole year, so I'm wearing it during springtime on a t-shirt and, and I'm wearing it when it's a little bit colder. So this was my smocked collection, which was entirely done by hand stitching. And yes, it was super, super time consuming, but I think in the end it was so worth doing it because these garments look spectacular. I hope you liked this video and you're gonna tune in into my next videos.